Hello guys, so in this video I'll be discussing and suggesting what you have to do in the week 1 in your preparation for CAT 1. I hope that you must have gone through the past year papers and must be aware about the syllabus for the quant section in CAT and various other MB entrance exams. And I believe that you must have identified that most of the questions nowadays in CAT are appearing from uh, the, uh, the section arithmetic. And within arithmetic the most important topics are averages, ratio, proportion and percentages. There are direct questions appear from this topic and this topic is so important that the other topics within the arithmetic like time speed distance, time and work and any other topic have a direct relationship with these uh, concepts. So since this is the most important uh, area for CAT, uh, for CAT quant, so obviously our preparation must start from this particular topics. So in week one, my suggestion is that you should take all these three topics. All these three are very, very elementary topic. We are already aware about uh, these topics much of the things we already know the only thing which you have to uh, uh, hone is the way in which the formulas and shortcut tricks are applied right so you have to complete in the first week the averages ratio proportion and percentage and you would not be taking much of the time that's why i have uh, suggested that somewhere between 10 to 12 hours or we can say that two hours per day in a week will be sufficient to cover all these three topics now, what you have to focus on these three topics. Obviously, you have to focus on the basic concepts and formula. There are various formulas which we use for finding the averages, ratio, proportion and percentage. And many of the formula you must already be knowing it. But yes, I have introduced some more formulas, some new formulas, which some of you might not be knowing it. So you have to pay attention into it. For example, we know that the basic formula for finding the averages is get the sum and divide it by the number of things, right? So this will be the simple average or the simple formula for finding the average. But I have devised a new method that is a method of division which actually helps you to avoid a lot of heavy calculation because although the calculators are allowed in CAT exam but there are many other exams wherein the calculator is not allowed. And at the same time why to involve ourselves into unnecessary calculation even the calculators are allowed right because if there are more calculations required then there are more chances of getting it wrong right so i have devised a new method that is method of deviation exclusively for finding the averages and this is very very easy to understand purely based on common sense you this is the thing which you have to focus primarily on the uh, on the uh, from the topic of averages ratio and proportion a basic understanding about the ratio proportion continuous proportion, mean proportion and all those things which we uh, must have gone through the school days. The more important among these three is the topic of percentage because it has a huge uh, application in every type of topics within arithmetic, right? So apart from understanding what is the basic rule of finding the percentage and understanding the rule of base which I have explained in the theory videos, that is very very important because most of the people who get the question wrong from the area of percentage is the prime culprit is that they don't understand what is the base for which we are calculating the percentage so i have explained it extensively in the theory videos don't miss it and do not just overlook it just apart from that you have to focus uh, primarily on the conversion of percentage to ratio and it's working this is very very vital the reason being is that since uh, as I said that uh, the uh, although we have been given uh, the facility for calculator but still if those if we can avoid the calculation by usual method that will be much better. So here the conversion of ratio to percentage is very much helpful. For example if I want to find say 33.33 percent of something right. So it is better to use one third of that because one third as a ratio is equivalent to 33.33 in terms of percentage. So you have to remember some percentage and their corresponding ratio and your, and with the help of solved examples I have also illustrated that how you can use the ratio instead of percentage to minimize the calculation. Apart from that the last thing which you have to focus is the, uh, the question which are primarily based on increase, decrease and successive change in percentage. Right? Primarily these kind of questions appear in the area of percentages. So these are the four things which you have to focus. The time is sufficient enough to do that. And let me just show you that in the, in the course where you will be finding these topics and how to use the course. So here you can see that uh, if you have purchased the online course, the complete course or a quant course, you'll be getting this particular bundle. Within this, you'll be finding all these sections. So I have developed a different section for each, uh, I have developed different folders for each of the sections. So you'll be finding different uh, folder for arithmetic, number system, geometry, algebra, 
and then modern mass. So these are the five major uh, modules in which the quant, the, uh, the syllabus for entire quant is divided. And apart from that, whatever the live sessions uh, we take, I put those live sessions, the recording in this particular folder. And then you have the topic test and at last you have the sectional test as well. So entire thing, whatever required in the quant course is already provided to you apart from the live session. So you have to go to the uh, quant arithmetic uh, this course and within this you will be finding the very first module is the averages. So within averages you can find that I have given uh, what are the basic formulas and properties of averages and then I have also provided some elementary level of questions which you have to practice after going through this uh, theory. And once you solve this practice problem then I have also provided the video solution for these practice problems. You can just match the way you are solving and the way the actual solution should be right. And I have also provided the trick that is the method of deviation as I suggested that this is very very important in averages and I have also uh, elaborated the working of this trick by the solved examples and then you have to follow the concept of weighted average right. So this is how you will be completing the theory of averages. You don't have to do practice problem right now because most of the practice problems will require some other concepts. So once you are done with this particular thing I recommend that if you have any book maybe say Arun Sharma or any other uh, quant book you do level one questions some level one questions from those areas so that whatever formula trick you have understood you 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 should have more questions for the practice even if you don't have the questions which I have provided in this PDF is sufficient enough right the similar thing which you have to uh, you have to do in ratio and proportion so in ratio and proportion also you can find that I have provided the ratio and proportion uh, theory the formulas again I have provided in this PDF the various formula uh, formula based questions which you have to do and I have provided the video solution for these two practice problems right now you may skip the variation and partnership from the ratio uh, in the first instance because we will be coming to these particular topics once we have completed the first round of these three topics right now the next thing which you have to do is jump to the percentage so in percentage you have to focus primarily on so in percentage you have to primarily focus on the concept and formula of the percentage conversion of the percentage as I said the conversion of percentage to ratio is very very vital so this is what you have to do and simultaneously you can do the conversion of percentage to decimal and vice versa also percentage of quantity will help you to understand that how to identify or calculate percentage for those people who are very very new to this topic right and there are uh, different ways where the percentage as a concept is used so I have just fragmented those types in different ways so here you can see that whole to the part percentage calculation part to the whole percentage calculation then percentage increase and decrease then basic understanding of base of the percentage so understanding base of percentage understanding the change of base cumulative percentage calculation that is successive percentage increase and decrease all those things so everything I have just given you in in uh, in piecewise so that you can understand each of the subtopic in detail and uh, once you finish this theory part and then you have to solve level 1 or level 0 questions which are very very elementary questions from any of the book or whatever I have provided in the in the PDF format here. So these three topics as I suggested can easily be done in, uh, in, in a week and if you have any problem you can just directly ping me. In the next video I will discuss that what we have to do in week 2 what should be our target for week 2.